is one more video taking a look at the logic of argument. We're looking at two fallacies here that can frequently get confused, but also ones that will help you remember how they work. And taking a look at these fallacies, we're not trying to answer every question, but we're trying to clear up common questions that the students will have about fallacies. If we take a look at the two fallacies listed here, let's see if I can zero in on them. They include the false cause and the slippery slope. Remember that fallacies demonstrate the border lines of good logic and the beginning of bad logic, really. Questionable or false cause, sometimes called dubious cause. They all mean the same thing. Slippery slope, that's a different one, though. And the names do mean something. Remember, the opposite of that is we want to find the relevant causes and that we know that not everything will fall apart if we propose a solution. We ought not to appeal to the idea that they might fall apart. Up above this little section of my map, I've drawn out those two to try and illuminate them in more detail. And I think that picking out these two fallacies and focusing on them really does help a little bit because they're going in different directions. These two fallacies focus on relationships. The slippery slope goes forward. It says that something will cause something else to happen and that something else will usually be the world falling apart. Uh, slippery slope says if you do something, the effect of it will be that the world will go to hell in a handbasket. And it's usually pretty extreme. You could also call it appealing to fear, which is pretty fair, because they try to forecast a future in which it will become like the Hunger Games and to have children killing other children or something just terrible or horrible out. I will have shown several examples of this in class, but you can imagine your own. It is the argument that simply tries to persuade you by saying that the uh, future of such an action as you proposed will be absolute chaos and the world falling apart. That's going forward. That's the slippery slope. And it's slippery slope because it's slipping right into the future. That is slippery slope, but false cause is a little different. It says that we're trying to trace some effect back to its original cause. And the important part about false cause is we're trying to find the right cause or causes. Not just one cause or the wrong cause. And we're trying to find all relevant causes. That's why the arrow has to be drawn correctly. So to put these two by, side by side and to try and make uh, them as different as they really are, slippery slope goes forward and forecasts some terrible future, whereas false cause goes backwards. It looks towards something in the past that made something in the present happen and maybe happen uh, to our detriment. But the idea is that we're tracing back to the uh, causes for that thing. And that's how they're both about relationships, these two fallacies. Any chance you can get to put, relationship, put fallacies in relationship or show how they connect, that will really help you remember them. And that's why I advise you to do that as you study them. Good luck.